it's way past time to record what's new on our MDR procedure. The MDR procedure being our medical device reporting procedure for compliance with 21 CFR 803. This is the FDA's medical device regulatory reporting procedure. In our quality system for Medical Device Academy, we split up our medical device reporting procedures regulatory into three different ones. We have one for Europe, one for Canada, and one for the US. So this is the US one. People ask me, is it up to date? I'm thinking, yeah, of course it is. There haven't been any changes to 803 since they made it electronic submissions. But then I forgot they've updated the form. They, they have a form, FDA form 3500A, that is required to be filled out by manufacturers. And then you upload that as a package to the FDA through using the e-submitter software into the electronic submissions gateway. So that form has changed. So therefore what you need to have prepared and potentially what questions you need to ask in your complaint handling and investigation of a complaint could change. So I went in there and I said, well, how can I update this? And I said, wow, you know, I don't have any of the user manuals on how to use eSubmitter. I don't have the actual um, file for you to download so you can install it on your computer. I don't have the quick guide on how to use eSubmitter. I don't actually have all the instructions on how to use 3500A. So that's what we've done. We've gone in there and added all those things to the procedure and updated it. And of course, you update the procedure. Now we can update the training because it's a training bundle. So one little question, I got a ton more work. But here we go. We're going to show you what's included. So we will share our screen for starters here. And this is our website. So when you go to our website, this is where the procedures are under SOPs in the header. You click on that and you scroll down. So if you want to know what our procedures are, they're right here. Click on the download, our master document list, and you can see all the procedures, but they're just below that. And you scroll down till you get to number 29, SYS 29, medical device reporting. Okay. So here's the old video that this one's going to replace. And it's a medical device reporting MDR procedure and webinar bundle. So you're going to get the updated procedure and an updated training webinar. You also get a quiz. Now, if you want to train your whole company, you don't have to pay for a separate bundle for every single person in the company. You just pay for extra people to take the, the quiz. So if we go down here, this is where you actually add it to your cart. You just click on the add to cart. And there isn't any discount code right now for this. Um, so you just pay for this. If you're buying multiple things, you can add multiple things to your cart. Um, but I'm going to remove that for the moment. And this is what's in this list now. So before, it, all I had listed was the procedure, and I really should have had the complaint register as well, because there are some questions that we've asked people to add to the register to help you um, make sure that you have all the information you need for anything that requires medical device reporting. There's some additional questions they want you to put in the complaint record if it requires reporting. But these are all the new things that we added. We added the user manual. We added the quick guide. We added the F... FDA's e-submitter frequently asked questions. We included the Mac install instructions because the version that I use is the 64-bit, which is down below for download. The most common issues people that have with it, with this system, the native slide deck for the webinar, the download for recording the webinar, and a Learn Dash quiz. So we've, we've had a Learn Dash platform for a while. We worked out the bugs on it, but I never actually went ahead and started converting our quizzes over to that. So we're going to make this one the, the one that we actually make available to people. So anybody that signs up, I'm going to manually add you as a user to the LearnDash platform, and you'll try using it out. If it fails for some reason, then I'll, I'll print out the manual quiz, and I'll send it to you by email. But I think it should work well. We've already debugged it several times. And if you use that platform, it will automatically generate your certificate. Um, what's not included in this procedure is the ESG gateway. Instructions. So there's an electronic submissions gateway, which is work instruction 003. That's only 199, not 299, but it's not included. So it's extra. And part of the reason why I didn't include it is because you might be using somebody like our company to do all the electronic submission stuff for you. 
So you don't need instructions on electronic submissions gateway if you're just doing the complaint handling and creating the package and then let somebody else take care of uploading it through their web trader account. Um, so that's optional. You don't have to have it, but you do if you don't have somebody else doing that for you. There's another reason why it's separate and that's because I don't expect any major changes to the MDR procedure in the near future, but I do expect that the ESG work instruction is going to have to be completely rewritten in 2024 because the FDA has announced that they are going to be releasing ESG next gen. So they they give a little uh, link, uh, or we, I gave a little bit of the link in the um, page here to the FDA's page on ESG next gen where they explain what the advantages are. But basically, you're going from an antiquated system where you you have to um, submit these form letters of repudiation. And you, you have a very um, involved three-step process for setting up your production account. And you have to have a test account first. All that stuff goes away. And they're going to go to a more modern system that's more secure. Uh, it will also allow us to upload files that are much larger. So we won't have file size restrictions. It'll get up to one terabyte and greater. So that's going to be a big improvement. But that's a 2024 change that they have planned. It's going to take them time. And they're going to do it in phases. They've got release one, two, and three planned. Um, but for 2024 and 2025. So uh, somewhere between July and September is when we expect the first release to hit. Um, and we will be updating the work instruction for the ESG. So whether you buy the MDR procedure in the ESG now or buy them separately, it doesn't matter. Whatever you buy, you get free updates. So we will notify you, notify you by email when there's an update. If you don't want to have the spam and you want to check periodically, you can check our uh, master document list and say, oh, that's updated. I, get it. I need to email Rob and get that. Um, we explained down a little bit lower on the page why medical device reporting is such a huge problem. It's one of the number one reasons why companies get FDA 43 inspection observations. A lot of companies don't even realize they're responsible for reporting, and they don't realize that they need an electronic submissions gateway. Even they think, well, we have a low risk device. We're never going to have anybody get seriously injured. It's not possible that our device doesn't matter. The FDA still wants you to have an electronic submissions gateway and have a process in place so you could, if you had to, report something. Um, and then this is a bundle. So you're getting the procedure, you're getting all those supporting documents, you're getting the webinar, you get the recording to the webinar so you can participate live or recorded. So it doesn't matter which time zone you're in, you get access to the recording, you can download it, you can watch it with your whole company, you can watch it as many times as you want, and you get the slide deck. So that's everything that's included. Now I'm actually gonna show you the procedures. So when you purchase this, um, there we go. So here's the page where we have it. Um, you will get a link to this uh, Dropbox folder, has everything in there and here is the procedure. So this is what I'm gonna show you and I will make it bigger so everybody can see. Um, one of the things you'll notice right away, we switched to a more modern version. So we're gonna be doing this to all our procedures over 2024. And we're going to change everything to zero for drafts, zero point something. So this is the second draft of our medical device reporting procedure. And every time we create a new draft, we'll update that. If it's after the decimal place, it doesn't require retraining. You say, but you did a whole rewrite. That's true, but this is a draft. It's our draft. When you review and approve this procedure, you're going to make it version 1.0. So the number before the decimal changes, that means retraining is required. If you make a minor tweak to the procedure, um, you change a title, you change a person that's responsible for something, something that doesn't require retraining, something minor, then it could be 1.1. If you make a major change that requires retraining, 2.0. Um, going down here a little bit, I've added a lot more references. So you've got those references to those documents that I've included in the bundle. We're using the same flow chart. You got your customer feedback and vigilance reporting. You could also have your incident reporting procedure could also be an input to that um, if you do Canadian licensing. And the outputs or the management review, recalls and advisory notices could be another thing that you have to implement. And of course, there might be a kappa if you had to do any kind of medical device reporting. We have our instructions here. So now that we're going to be using these revisions 0 0.1, 0 0.2, um, we're going to keep the revision history more up to date. Um, 
rather than just showing a generic version that we're going to tell you exactly what we changed. So that should really help people a lot more. And I'm going to try to go back retroactively like I've done here to try to identify what the previous versions were wherever I can. But some of these, like I, I think our, um, our document control procedures like it, version 17 or something. So uh, sometimes this is not practical. Um, one of the things we changed in here or added in here is a note about the change of release one of ESG next gen. And I state that the ESG procedure is not included in here. You have to look at the work instruction for that, uh, work instruction three. And we, we explain a little bit here of what's involved, but you really got to go down to the next section, um, table one, instructions for completing FDA form 3500. So 3500 is the version that's abbreviated that's used by uh, hospitals. And then 3500A is the one that manufacturers use. But this is the information that you got to be collecting. And we put everything in here, including the instructions, how to answer each one. So the guidance is included in the procedure. You don't have to read both. But if you want to, we've given you links as well. So everything you need here, and it took quite a while. We went from my five-page document now to a 15-page document. So I, I did have one little highlight in here. I'm going to go back to that for a second. So um, in this particular section, almost everything that's in here is non-medical device. But we didn't delete this section because there is one little item here for medical devices. But section D is the exception. Everything else, like product availability, that would definitely be something that you would report and that wasn't in the old version um and then when you get down to these other sections um you know suspect medical device they give you a whole bunch of information but everything that's in that guidance document tells you what to include we've put it all in there every single form cell and every single instruction on how to do it it's all there and then you get down to the very bottom here monitoring and measuring, training, retraining. So this is where we indicated the explanation of when training is required, when it's not. We're going to be doing that. So this same paragraph, all the procedures. And then, of course, we did have down here that I added the MedWatch form. I don't think that was in there before, but we've got all the linking to records. And we talk about records being electronic now. So I think this is everything that you need for to know for this procedure. Um, so please, if you're interested in, um, if you purchase the procedure before, you'll get an email this week letting you know, hey, it's been updated, but you can go to the Dropbox folder right away or shoot me an email if you no longer are getting that subscription. Number two, um, because it's a bundle, you'll be notified that we're going to be actually doing the redo of the webinar with the new content on December 14th. Um, it's going to be in the morning time, so it'll be afternoon for you folks in Europe. It'll be uh, early morning for people that are on the West Coast. Uh, that's when we try to do it to hit the most number of people and make it usable. But we will also, of course, be able to um, record it. So you'll be able to see it in as a recording if you miss the, the live session. If you have any questions you want me to ask, shoot them over. You can either put them in our uh, suggestion box page. Um, that's also our 404 page. So if you can't remember suggestion dash box, just type in any old uh URL in our on our website for the slug and it will automatically pop up. And of course, um, when you um, are interested in this, you want to watch it as your whole company, you're also going to get that link to take the quiz and get a certificate. If you want quizzes and certificates for all your other employees, then you're going to have to go through um, and e send us an email of here are the other people that need access to the account and they can log in there and they can take the quiz as well. I hope that helps everybody. And um, if you have any questions about the procedure that I didn't cover in this video, please let me know. Bye-bye.